But uh, for instance, uh, on one flight, a scenic flight, very simple flight, beautiful day, mountains out, knew we had a lot of new deep snow. Then again, I had this young family and grandma on a scenic flight in, in the mountains. We go and we land on the glaciers up here, and then of course it's real, real, real beautiful, and we bring them back, about an hour and a half trip. Well, with the new snow, the first pilot that had taken off the glacier head uh, went off the runway and, and got stuck in the bottom of the glacier. Well, we waited for him to get unstuck. Well, but while we were waiting, the weather came down. Five days we were on the glacier with this family. In the waiting in a snow hole yeah. for better yeah. uh, in a snow weather cave. improving. Yeah? In a snow cave for five days. Now, you have to think about that. I don't carry toilet paper in my airplane for four people for five days. <laughs> and they always say, the first thing you do is have shelter and water and uh, warmth. No, 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 no. The first thing you do is establish the latrine. <laughs> because uh, it's really true. It's just biology at that point. And now we're on a glacier. Glacier is not the most safest place just to be walking off, and it's not the most private place <laughs> just to be walking off. So there's a distance that's safe but modest. And but the snow is important because though it's very clean and very uh, uh, pure, you you have to establish one place to go. You just can't go to the bathroom all over the place because we use the snow water for for drinking and stuff like that and sanitation. These are just immediately. Things that come up that you don't think about until you're in that situation. You know? And so uh, there's, uh, in disaster or in calamity in people's lives, there's like some s seven signs of psychological distress you go through. Uh, resignation, anger, laughter. Um, I'm sure have you all heard of these, these psychological responses to uh, turmoil. Anyway, uh, everybody goes through that at a different time. And, uh, <laughs> Than they did, and of course they miss all their other flights. A week. This is like five days, five days, and every and it was snowing so hard. About every three hours, even during the night, I had to start the airplane up, stamp out a ramp with the snowshoes, and bring the airplane up on top of the snow because it snowed like 15 feet. Four days long. Yeah. yeah. 15 feet of snow. If you didn't do that, the airplane would be gone. <laughs> you wouldn't have an airplane. You know, and so. Uh, but the people uh, were interested, of course, we finally got the weather broke, we finally, of course, got out, everything was fine, but the people were just so distraught. But then after Christmas, I get, I start getting these little Christmas cards. Oh my God, that was the most exciting time in my whole life that I had ever spent, you know, stuck on the glacier for five days. And, and even 20 years later, I still get occasionally a Christmas card going, God, that affected my life so much. You know, so, um, at the time, it wasn't very fun. But, it, but situations like that can happen.